Well, this dock has made a long journey. There are several markings on it that clearly read Japan. Some of the species found latching onto it have been positively identified as native to Japan, and experts have just confirmed that this dock is indeed a piece of debris from the tsunami in Japan. I'm quite impressed. I didn't think something that size would make it this far to the Oregon beach. Impressive isn't an understatement. The seven foot tall, 19 foot wide, and 66 foot long dock washed ashore early Tuesday morning. It's made primarily of concrete but is hollow and designed to float. It's basically a big building block with an airspace on the inside so that it could float. Since the dock had evidence of marine life specific to Japan and Japanese markings, it was immediately checked for radiation. Those tests came out negative. We've been told by NOAA that none of the debris that's coming across has been found to be radioactive. That that's highly unlikely. But we want to make sure people or minds are put at rest, so we always check. But there is still some concern about potential invasive species exposure. Crews are working to contain that threat. You don't know what's going to find it this to be a happy place to live, but we don't want to take that chance. The Japanese consulate examined a metal plaque attached to the dock, confirming that the dock is debris from the March 2011 tsunami in Japan. That makes it the first confirmed debris to hit the Oregon coast. I was wondering when the first day something from Japan would be here to this this coast. Visitors were shocked to hear how far it traveled. It's, it's so big and I just, I, it's hard to imagine this coming through the ocean. Kind of a neat thing that it's traveled as far as it has. Just that it traveled so far, that is amazing. And to think it was tsunami related, that just, that just makes me sad. And Oregon Parks and Rec crews are still trying to decide what to do with the dock. They'll either wait for the tide to rise, pull it out to sea and try to salvage it, or they'll have to demolish it right here on the beach. Near Newport, Heather Turner, KZI 9 News.